Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. In the Google Chrome web browser, as many of you may know who use the browser on a regular basis, Google Chrome can warn you if any of your saved passwords have been involved in any data breaches regarding your saved passwords online. Now, to get to this setting and option which is enabled and turned on by default, we just head up to the menu in the top right, click on settings, head over to security and privacy, and we go to the security menu. And in this menu, you will see an option here, which is turned on by default, warn you if passwords are exposed in a data breach. And it says Chrome periodically checks your passwords against lists that have been published online. When doing this, your passwords and usernames are encrypted so they can't be read by anyone, including Google. Now, this is a handy security feature, you know, just to keep your passwords safe and secure while browsing online. But as an example, you may have one or two passwords in your password list that you don't want to change or can't change, as an example. And, you know, um, turning this setting off uh, is not advised as it is a handy security feature to keep your passwords safe and secure. And you might have just one or two passwords that are causing problems and you don't actually want to turn this off for all of your passwords. Now, the good news is that in the latest version of Google Chrome Canary version 100, which is a pre-release version of the browser used for testing and experimenting, Google has now added a new feature which lets you disable the warning for individual passwords as, you know, um, if it's just one or two passwords, that can become annoying. So um, you can disable and turn off and unmute and mute those uh, passwords now in uh, Google Chrome Canary in your saved passwords lists if you have any weak or exposed passwords. Now to do this, we just head over to uh, Chrome Canary and like most features in the uh, Google Chrome Canary browser, we have to enable this using a flag. And to do this, we just head up as always to our address bar, our Omnibox, and enter Chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in the search, just enter this flag. Mute compromised passwords, which says in the description, enables muting, unmuting compromised passwords in bulk leak check. And that's available for Mac, Windows, Linux, Chrome OS, and Fuchsia. We, as always, change the default setting to enabled, relaunch Chrome Canary to apply that flag. And now the easiest way to get to your password list, your saved passwords list, if you don't know, is just to head up to your profile picture in the top right of the browser. And when you click on that profile picture, you will see a little key uh, which says passwords and just click on that. And this is where you will see a list of your saved passwords. Now you'll notice that I don't have any saved passwords in Chrome Canary. And the reason for that is I do not use this browser for any general browsing um, 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 online on a regular basis. And just for security reasons, I don't have, don't have any passwords saved in Chrome Canary. But I'm sure that by the end of this uh, video, you will get the general idea on what I'm trying to communicate. Now, if you go to check for passwords, this will do a check for any weak or exposed or breached passwords that uh, the browser uh, has found. And these will all appear in a list um, in this blank space where obviously I don't have any passwords saved as mentioned. And then to uh, check your passwords um, and maybe to unmute or uh, you know disable those warnings, um, you just go to the three dotted uh, menu, the little three dotted menu you'll find next to the relevant change password button you will see here. And you just select the dismiss warning. Now, um, there are three, uh, in the three dotted menu, there are three options which are in the stable version, which are there by default, which are called show password, edit password, and remove password. And this new flag, as I say, will give you the option to dismiss the warning for that individual password that maybe you don't want to or can't change. And then at any other time, at a later stage, maybe you want to, you know, restore those warnings and then you just come back, click on the three dotted menu and then you just, then it will give you the option to restore the warning uh, for that particular password. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.